Hi Year 11. Uh, today I'm going to move a conductor in a magnetic field to produce an electric current. So what I've got here is I've got firstly a magnet and it attaches to these uh, pieces of soft iron. So this side becomes a north pole, this side is a south pole. I've got magnetic field lines running straight across through the middle. In the middle I've got some coiled copper wire. Uh, when the wire spins it breaks the magnetic field lines uh, movement through a magnetic field will induce a current. I'm going to spin it by turning this handle and the wire uh, is completing a circuit with this LED lamp here. Now an LED lamp will only light up with current in one direction. Uh, so what we should see is that as I turn the motor one way through the magnetic field it lights up, the other way it does nothing. That's not because I can't produce a current, it's just because an LED only lets the current flow one direction. So the other way, I, it, it doesn't matter if I'm turning it in the magnetic field, it won't make a current. Let's see that. So let's turn the magnet, and I hope you can see, I'm just gonna hold it down here. Hope you can see that LED is lighting up. I'm gonna turn the other way, and it doesn't light up. Because it shows the current's going in the opposite direction, so the LED won't let it pass. Now the thing to look at as well, is that as I turn it, you might be able to see the LED is actually flashing on and off very quickly. There we go. I'll go as slowly as I can, still producing enough speed to light it up. Because the faster the conductor moves through the magnetic field, the, the greater the current is induced. Because I'm crossing more field lines in less time. Now that's flashing because as this spins, remember we've got field lines running straight across here, this way. Uh, so when it's spinning across the top here, at this point, if, if, the, if, it start, if the coil starts moving, it's moving with the field lines, it's not crossing any field lines, so it's not creating any current. But if I can stop it somewhere else, just here, when it moves in this position, it's moving perpendicular to the field lines, so we're gonna get maximum current produced. So here there's none produced, here there's maximum produced. Here there's none, here there's maximum. And when I do that quickly, we can see the flashing. If I do it really quickly, there'll be enough charge being loaded through the LED that you can't even really tell it's flashing. Uh, now the one other thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my voltmeter uh, and clip it onto the terminals just to show really, really clearly that I am producing a current in both directions, it's just the LED that doesn't allow it. So there we go. I'll turn the voltmeter on. Oh, wrong way, not that one. I've got it on. Here we go. So if I turn one way, there's my current one again, about 0.4 amps. The other way, getting a little bit more 0.5 or 6 the reason I get more that way is because that way the LED won't let any current pass so uh, for in the first way around the LED was in parallel to the voltmeter so less current passed through it when the LED won't let it pass more current has to go through the voltmeter uh, now the one other thing to look at what's I gonna do ah oh, here we go so at the moment if I spin this way it lights up I can reverse my magnetic field so now the magnetic field lines are going the other direction, which means that the conductor crosses it in the other direction. So now if I turn it this way, the current has reversed. It's going the opposite direction. The LED won't light up because it won't let current pass that way. If I go the other way, now it lights up. And let's show it one more time. So here we go. I'm going this way is, from your view, clockwise. It's lighting up. Reverse the magnetic field and it doesn't light up clockwise anymore. And you may have been able to see as well the current on the voltmeter switched. Um, so let's go clockwise. We've got neg negative current on the voltmeter. Uh, I'll swap the magnetic field. I'll go clockwise again. And we've got positive current. There you go. Lots of demonstrations of the varying current as the wire breaks the magnetic field, uh, crosses magnet magnetic field lines or goes with them, uh, the reversible current by changing the direction of rotation or by reversing the magnetic field. Um, and just generally, another great example of um, 
electromagnetic induction and the fascinating links between magnetism and electric current.